Chinese, Indian and Thai food has spread all over the world. But now it's time for Egyptian specialties to cross the borders. Yes, today we have the food blogger from Cairo, Tanya. Tanya, tell us more about these Egyptian deli the world should know about. Um, well, the first one I want to talk about is kushari, which is a very simple dish uh, made up of macaroni and lentils and rice and uh, has some red sauce on it. And uh, you can basically get this on the street, very cheap, very tasty, but you can also get more of a gourmet version of it in, uh, in proper restaurants that have been popping up. And if I'm looking for more sweet kind of stuff? Um, well, I would have to say uh, omali, which is a very traditional uh, Egyptian dish, a bit similar to um, bread pudding, but they use phyllo pastry and milk, and they put it in the oven with nuts and raisins, and um, it's very, very popular. <laughs> Sounds terrific. And, and what kind of street food would you recommend? Um, I think Ful and Tamea is the, is the best one to go for. It's the most typical, it's the most traditional, and it's uh, usually the tastiest and uh, the cheapest. And what's your personal favorite? Um, I would have to say Molokheya, which is more of a meal, and uh, you have it, it's a green soup, and you have it with rice and salad, and uh, I like to have it with fries also. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Okay, and I've also heard about Hawashi. I'm not for sure if I pronounce it correctly. What Hawashi. is that? Hawashi. <laughs> um, Hawashi is basically um, leftover meat, so it's a bit like a meatball, but it's flat. And they put it in a traditional baladi bread and then in the oven, so it gets all like melty and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, Tanya. And for the recipes of these specialties, go to interconnection.com. Bye-bye.